You can't have strong, injury-free legs without training your hamstrings. They play an important role in stabilizing the knee joint and improving the posture of our hips or pelvis. Now before I go into some exercise that you can do at home to strengthen your hamstrings, let's take a look at the muscles involved and how they work. There are three muscles that make up the hamstrings. The semimembranosus, the semitendinosus, and the biceps femoris, which has both a short and a long head. Now the short head isn't considered a hamstring muscle because it's attached to the femur and not the pelvis, but it contributes to knee flexion and gets worked along with the hamstring muscles when we curl our lower leg. The hamstrings attach below the knee with the biceps femoris going along the outside of your knee attaching to the fibula and the other two muscles go along the inside of your knee to the tibia. They not only stabilize the knee, but they can turn your lower leg both away from your body and towards the center line of your body. Now as I mentioned earlier, the upper attachment of the hamstrings is on the pelvis and it's responsible for tilting our pelvis forward or in a posterior position. And when we have weak hamstrings, we tend to have an anterior pelvic tilt, which can cause low back, hip, and even knee pain. The hamstrings are also responsible for extending the hip, which is a movement we do when we get up off a chair, pick something up off the floor, or climb stairs. And it is a key muscle when it comes to being able to run faster, which is something that I'm very interested in. A couple of exercises that work great to strengthen our hamstrings through hip flexion are Romanian deadlifts and hamstring bridges. A tip with the hamstring bridges is to use the distance from the bench as a drop set. Start farther away from the bench than you normally would. Then do your reps until you're almost at failure. Then move forward a bit and rep it out again. For the last set, you'll be in the traditional hamstring bridge position. To advance this exercise, you can do it one leg at a time or add weight. The next exercise that I'm a big fan of is Romanian deadlifts. The key action here is to move your hips back as you lower the weight. You lower the weight moving your hips back until you feel a good stretch in your hamstrings without any rounding of your back. Then you lead with your hips and drive them forward as you lift the weight. A good way to get the feel of this movement is to add a band around your waist. It will pull your hips back as you lower the weight, cueing correct form. And when you drive your hips forward, the band will also provide some added resistance for not only your hamstrings, but the glutes as well. The single leg Romanian deadlift is a great way to help eliminate any muscle imbalances you may have through the hip hinge. If you're having trouble balancing on one leg, you can always do this exercise supported with one hand holding onto a doorway or a post. The kettlebell or dumbbell swing is another great exercise I will often incorporate into my metabolic conditioning workouts. The key here is not to swing the weight with your arms, but to drive the weight up with your hips as you move them forward. You don't need a leg curl machine to do leg curls. My two preferred ways to do hamstring curls is with bands or my levered hit system. When you're using bands, it isolates the hamstrings more than the levered system, which incorporates the core to stabilize your body during the movement. One exercise that is super effective for your hamstrings, if you don't have any equipment, is the floor hamstring curl. You just need a smooth floor and a pair of socks. Keep your core tight and raise your body up until it's supported by your heels and the back of your shoulders. Then pull your heels back towards you. Another exercise that doesn't require any equipment is the Nordic Curl. It's a phenomenal hamstring exercise and I have a rather unique way of doing it that does use a little equipment. Basically how you do a Nordic Curl is you brace your feet under something like a bed or a couch. Typically I use a couple of dumbbells. Then slowly lower your body by straightening out your knees controlling the descent or the eccentric portion of the rep with your hamstrings. Once you reach the floor, pull with your hamstrings and push yourself back up, then repeat. I like to use a band with this exercise that I attach to the top of a door to assist me. It works perfectly as it provides the most resistance at the end of the movement where we are the weakest and allows me to primarily use my hamstrings on the concentric part of the movement with just a little nudge with my elbows to get me started. Of course, our hamstrings are only a part of our legs, and to keep our legs balanced, we need to strengthen our quads as well. Watch this video next to learn how we can build our quads up at home so we can keep working out while having fun building strong, well-balanced legs. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50, and we'll talk to you again in the next one.